We got you in there a little bit. This is Will Bell and Eric, and we're live, not in the 815. We're not live. We're live. We're not live. We're kind of live. It's not live. Sort of live. You guys still watching these things? Things are happening. Sad things. Uh, yeah. Lost my shit a little bit today, um, but not too much. Dude's just like, no. <laughs> Fuck. It's, it's getting sketch, but I guess that's how this project was going to go. So yeah, parts. That is the name of the game for Wednesday. Optimism is dwindling. There's a lot of little things we uh, didn't think about, forgot about, didn't know about. It was a long day today. But yeah, I think the story of today is tired. Everyone's tired. Yeah, man, kind of tired. Tired. Get some things done, but I'm tired. I know everybody else, too. They've been busting ass, killing it, man. Definitely tired. It's been three days of just going, going, and going. And so I'm tired. 8.15, guys. Man. We got beer. Beer. Since we're in a dry county. We might have had to drive to another county to get beer, but we got beer. Allegedly. 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 Not actually. Didn't actually happen. <laughs> Confessional out? All right. Yeah. Okay, check out the job Wasted it on the trans tunnel here in the firewall. It's looking good. We're going to get this all sealed up, keep on going, and get that engine in here today, hopefully, for the last time. Uh, I didn't do the things with the tools. It's dudes with wrenches, not dudes with, with drill bits. Drill bits? Yeah. Drilling a hole for the transmission line. sensor thing. I don't know what it is. Yeah. I'm not here for my technical ability. I've turned my camera on now for the first time in all, all two days. It's been on a number of times. What's up with this drill you have here? Best. I was just going to... Hey, uh, try tightening it better, bud. Done? No. Definitely. Alright, you're good. Now just stop doing the whole start and stop thing. It's going to loosen again. I don't yep. think it's on there, but we'll see. Easy, Bado. I didn't like those wrinkles. Nope. It's on there, you're just fucking. No, fucking something's jank in that motherfucker. What do you mean? Spin it? Oh, yeah, you just oh, bent, the, you bent yeah. the center pin. I'm saying, I don't think it was ever right. It may not have been. Um, it's what I got, man. What destroyed my whole saw that I never used. kind of waller drill, and then it hit, and it <laughs> I tightened it. You yeah, did. You tightened it so much that I can't untighten it now. <laughs> How are we doing in here? Uh, it's like putting a puzzle back together. That you didn't take apart? Well, I was I was pretty involved in taking it apart. Oh, well, that's helpful. You got two of them. Two trays. Sweet. Yeah. There they are. We should have. Hmm. Cheers. Going back together. Yeah, buddy. Mm -hmm. Progress. Excited about that, aren't you? 
I just like progress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's what's left of the battery box. It's the only thing holding it. So, try and add a little reinforcement with it. I'm gonna take that piece and uh, see if we can make it fit. Bend it up. Clean that up a little bit and weld it. So, let's give it a shot. All right, guys. So we're just reinforcing this plate. Uh, the other welder wasn't working good, having gas problems, so we're swapping over to the other one. So, it's basic, just a basic plate. It's not going to look good, but we just need it in there. So, uh, this was gone. There's no metal kind of behind here. It's all rusted out. There's only a piece about here that was holding it in place. So, we've got the plate in there now, kind of shaped, good enough. Uh, I'll hammer it down after I weld the top of it, and then uh, we'll get the battery tray to fit in there. So, let's weld it in. It's a, like, if you like, I found a good way to stop from seeing the light. Fill that hole back up. All right, guys. It ain't pretty. A lot of rust in there. But at least the battery's gonna hold. That's some some nasty stuff. Uh, the rest was the real problem. As soon as we get some heat in there, it would just destroy itself. So, uh, dudes with wrenches, a little more experience with uh, welding rust. I uh, should have made the plate bigger and just ground out further, but didn't realize there was so much rust until we started welding and then it, and it blew up. So, uh, should have cleaned that up better. That would have definitely fixed that. Uh, we're going to paint this over, and again, it, it's got a cover that goes over here anyways. We just need the structure so the battery didn't fall out. So, you can see how rusty these clamps are and everything. But, uh, he came in and fixed up my crappy welds, and uh, we ground them down some just so uh, that plastic would fit. So, uh, that's what we got, guys. We'll get it painted, and we'll get the tray in. The dash is really coming together. And you guys are killing it in here. I mean, maybe your lungs, I don't know. Could be. We got you in there a little bit. <laughs> Whoa, the dash is in and everything. Uh, it, it's in it. It's sitting in there. How's it's, that? It's sitting. It's uh, in as much as the LS was in on day one. <laughs> <laughs> it's looking good, guys. Thanks. We've worked on this a lot. Uh, we hope to get it done today. That would be a, a plus. We hope to get it done today because that would be a plus. We did tack the frame in, which we didn't totally want to do. But it was the only way to get it level-esque and make sure it was all right. So, got to weld in the uprights, cut all the tacks, sheet metal, the whole box, probably paint it, and put it all back together. So, that's definitely going to happen by the end of the day. Yeah? It's going to happen? It's going to happen, man. All right. It's yeah. going to happen. Maybe it does. Also, this guy. <laughs> he, he made this happen. Well, He's the brains behind this. I don't think I'm the brains behind this. It was a team effort. We're going to team effort. But if it turns out well, we'll take both take credit. Yeah, we're but, that bottom it, of the league team. But yeah. hey, it's a team effort. But if it doesn't turn out well, it's whose fault? Wasted? Wasted. Wasted. Yeah. He, he had input. Yeah, he didn't engineer this yeah, properly. Yeah. All right. Ah. Let's get to it. Okay, here you can see some of the stuff at the bottom. You can see the little framework. We're going to have to come over here. Because of our fittings, we've got to joggle this up a bit. So we're going to be cutting this area out, and we've tacked in the new reinforcement. So that should work out pretty good. All right, carry on with that. All right, hot stuff. Already kind of did a little tacky tacky. It's not beautiful, but it's one. One! Ha 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 ha. I don't know what they're doing up there, but it seemed to tack in. Pretty strong. Yep. Better. Way better fit perfect on this back one so we'll keep moving forward next
So we got this cage out of here. Cage. Yep. So it's just tacked together right now. Yep. We're gonna finish welding it up. We're gonna cut out, cut out this area. Cut out that area. That area. That's so, yep, those are for the bungs. And then when we're done, we're gonna clean it up. We're gonna paint it or we're gonna test fit it. Um, I don't think we need to paint it just yet. We're gonna test fit everything in and then we gotta sheet metal the whole thing. Sheet metal it. And yeah, then, so once we sheet metal uh, it, everything's gonna work. And we can give it the old excuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah, now it, it looks I a little catawonky, I guess we'll call it. But that's because we're trying to keep the tank level. Well, and the floor of the car was yeah, not, not level. level. The so, bottom is level for sure. The top uh, is well, what it actually, is. Yeah. What could be but this is going to work. Don't mind that. the wobble. Yeah. This table's not level. Yeah, that's what, oh, it, is. That's, that's what it is. Actually, we're on the nuts. Yeah, that's, we are. That's what's wrong. Yeah. The nuts. All right, we're going to get through this and uh, get this thing put together. Well, we're going to have to have one, but we need to figure out how it is. Oh, it is actually level once you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, the dash is back in. Man, they did an amazing job. It looks great. Beautiful 10 inch screen there. It's gonna look awesome when we actually get power back in here. Now that the trans tunnel's done, they were able to do this. Look at that, carpet's been cleaned. She's fancy now. There are a few parts over there, but. Obviously, the seats and stuff need to go back in. The headliner's got to have some work done to it, but I think. I don't know what they're doing on that, but man, how awesome does that look compared to ripped all out and everything? Let's go look at that, that screen. Fuse box. Now the shifter is a little bit close, but let's see if I can get my hand in there. It is not a problem. Like my finger fits in there, but just barely, but you'll be grabbing it like that anyways. So there we have it. Look around back here. Still got a few parts back here. The carpet's not beautiful. It looks better than it does on the camera though. All right guys. The work continues. All right. The firewall has been seam sealed. And now it's been painted. Nice glossy black. The trans tunnel is done. Waiting for it to dry. It's going, it's going back in. Heck of a job. Yeah. So what are you doing there, Mongrel? Well, I'm trying to make some clearance for the shifter box. As we come up with the back of the transmission, it's hidden on the, right. the shift box. And that's keeping us from bringing this up as far as we want to make the drive shaft angle work. So. Gotcha. Just this little tab here, get rid of that, we should be good. Nice. Is that why we got the rib up here yeah, ground down to you? it just helps us slide everything in a little bit better and cleans it up a little bit. Any chance the transmission's going to crack because we did that? No, I don't think so. Oh, if it does, it's not us driving anyways, right? It's not my car. <laughs> Looking good. Uh, a little, a little more. more. A little more. A little more. Send it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Good We're putting in the dowel pins. Yeah. I mean, are those important? Kind of. Maybe. Apparently. I mean, I don't. I don't think this motor is strong enough to break all the bolts. Uh, I think it's more of an eleven pin, but yeah. actually, they do do a lot for strength too. Was that too much? No, I just had my hand under the oil filter. You oh. didn't need that hand. Oh, Ben Wolf, no. Well, you got another one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's I would have preferred to crush this one, then. Oh, All right. I've, like, I've, seen, weird. I've seen some really cool people do a lot of stuff with their feet. I mean, you're down with that. No, no, I'm not. No? All right. Yeah. So, 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's weird, but. How much do you pay for that? Well, my internet is free. Can you go up there? You got the length of the camera thing. Yeah, when you try to make sure it all lined up. Yeah, I'm not your driving, because this one ain't lined up. Well, that's the one that's drilled crooked. That's oh, shit. Which motherfucker drilled that crooked? I mean, I like that motherfucker. Alright, we'll do that one. Now we're saying the doll pins make it too straight? Have we just officially said the doll pins make it too straight? <laughs> so that means we were always crooked slightly? No, no, the doll fine. The one that's drilled. Yeah, we. So all the rest have to be tight before it'll go in. Might not go in? I'm just saying if the dowel pins now made it to where there's no slot, that bolt may not be a bolt anymore, Bill. But it makes the dippy stick strong. I mean, you're just gonna break the cast. It's fine. Oh, that that wobbles in a bad way. You got that even bolted in? No. No? Because it has nuts and bolts. I like AC. What? This is a piece How did. Oh, because the bolts didn't come in from the bottom because you can reach them. So we're in trouble with that. Yes and no. Yes and no. I have some ideas. Hey, first of all, let me apologize for the noise quality because it is raining and tin roof, so it makes some noise, but. Here's what we're doing with the fuel cell right now. We got a little problem. The fuel cell came with this plastic fill cap. And we want to put this on there. However, this plastic fill cap, you know, these bolts coming up from underneath. And then the nut on top. 
So I'll wait that set up. And that's fine, because you take the cap off, reach your hand in there, and you can hold that. But with this guy, we can't. So we're gonna have to come up with something, and that's what we're working on right now. What I think we're gonna do is make, I'll explain it better later, but we're gonna make two half moon rings with rib nuts on it that we can put them up from the, hold them up from the bottom, and then everything should still seal. And we just run the nuts in, or the bolts in from the top. I'm gonna try that, see how it works. Okay, so what we did to resolve our issues, we built these half moons, which will go into the tank and they'll get retained by the plate. So we should be able to bolt that up. Just like that. We should be able to get those in the tank, hold them in place, and get this on. So that's how we resolve the issue. All right, so we made our half moon plates with the rib nuts, put it on the underside, and I'm just tightening this down, snugging it up. Seems to be working, so I think we're gonna be good here. So now we're gonna work on getting this tank in the car. That took a lot more time than we really wanted, but it should be good. All right, moving on to the tank. You got wasted trying out the cardboard cutter. You gotta push that button. Yo. Yo. Bro, this is the coolest thing. <laughs> you gotta give this a run. Bro. It is. You gotta stay outside the line, he said, but. Yeah, just for trimming it up. Sorry, I dropped my pencil. You gotta push the button on the top. That's like a safety. There you go. I never want to see a pair of scissors again. Who cuts cardboard with scissors? Oh, I, didn't, I didn't realize it was like an octagon. Yeah. yeah. It sharpens it. It sharpens itself too. How much was this? Other than the trigger, the, the trigger is weird. A jank, yeah. But. A couple people have come out with them just recently. Uh, that one's been out for a little while. I think I actually saw it on like uh, Chris Fix. I think where I saw it. How much? It's like 40 bucks. That's not bad. All right, there's the fuel cell. Oh, yeah. Don't you're good. Yeah. That's the first sheet going on there. Spot weld this, or what are we gonna do? He's just tacking it at the moment. So we have it on there. It makes it easier so we can see uh, what pieces we have. It helps me make my templates a little easier. Get started. <laughs> Welding. Welding. 
does it really good. Yeah. where you were pressing. This side? on the box now. A lot of things have gotten done. Looking really good. A lot of things passed together. Now we're just rolling over the corners and getting ready to test fit it all back in the car. Really coming together. Oh yeah. This is Will Bell and Eric, and we're live, not in the 815. We're not live. We're live. We're not live. We're kind of live. It's not live. Sort of live. All right, it is day three, and we are wrapping up. We got the engine and trans mounted completely. 
Uh, not permanently. Not permanently. <laughs> we do have... They gotta come back out. Trans cooler lines. The engine is mounted permanently. Uh, I mean, it could be. It could be. It but should we're probably be. taking it out with the trains. Nah, we're not doing that. <laughs> uh, we got the interior all back together this morning. It's it's kind of back together. It's kind of back together. Um, we got the wiring started. We got exhaust manifolds on. We're making yep. progress. Yep. Making progress. We got we got beer. Beer. Since we're in a dry county. We might have had to drive to another county to get beer, but we got beer. Allegedly. 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 Not actually. Didn't actually happen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think that's good. Uh, yeah. Exa exhaust building tomorrow. <clears throat> we'll see you there. All right. So, yeah. Parts. That is the name of the game for Wednesday. And the lack thereof. Just a lot of little things we uh, didn't think about, forgot about, didn't know about. Uh, other than that, we're doing pretty well. Firewall, it's all back together, transmission's in. We're just waiting on a bunch of oil cooler parts for the transmission cooler stuff. And uh, little things like tensioner, pulley, and things like that which are going to slow us down uh, we're supposed to get all that stuff Friday evening so um, definitely tired it's been three days of just going going and going and so I'm tired Lost my shit a little bit today, um, but not too much. Dude's just like, no. <laughs> Fuck. Cleus was trying to stuff that damn thing in there, and I was just like, it's not going to fit. Well, I'll just beat it. And I, was, I was not hearing it. It didn't fit, but definitely could tell I'm tired and was just not in the mood <laughs> to hear it. So we'll get the right fittings coming and get that done. But yeah, I think the story of today is tired everyone's tired but tomorrow's another day uh definitely was wrong not firing the car by wednesday failed that was way optimistic on monday uh yesterday i said thursday because we knew we were waiting on parts but that's not gonna happen because we're still waiting on parts now that pushed us further but this is our last chance to get all the parts so hopefully we have everything if we don't have it now then we're not making this deadline and it's just, that is what it is. It's parts. It's not our fault. But that's what happens when you do projects like this. So, all right. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Dudes with wrenches here. What did we do today? Lots of stuff. Uh, fuel cell got done. Optimism is dwindling. Things are happening. Sad things. Uh, yeah. I think we'll make it. Deep, deep into Friday night. Possibly. Possibly. I don't know. I don't know at this point anymore. It's it's getting sketch, but I guess that's how this project was going to go from the get. So expected. So yeah. Hope we make it. Hope the Volvo runs. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Pretty sure. Everybody's getting together. Doing it. Hmm? So. Confessional out? Alright. Yeah. Oh. Alright. Um, whew, another day, Wednesday, got a lot done, transmission, engine sitting in there, probably pull the transmission out again, uh, we still gotta put the starter in, got the engine and oil change today, interior's pretty much back together, the new, uh, ten and a half inch stereo looks pretty nice, started on the Harley harness a little bit, uh, had some firehouse today, but it had way too much salad for me, so I didn't get any, but it looked really good. Look, that was cool of uh, old B. Ryan there to get it. And then we had uh, leftover taco slash barbecue for dinner. That's where we get our beans from, and tomorrow I guess we're going to have hot dogs. 
Got to do some chili. Good beans there. We're going to have beans every day. That was build. It's a great idea. Have beans every day for uh, shop guys working. So, prep cool. So, tomorrow, these guys don't know it, but I'm going to come and all oh, this is going to be shaved off. I'm just going to show up with it shaved off in the morning and see what they say. Uh, seemed like, uh, yeah, man, kind of stunning. Tired. Get some things done, but I'm tired. I know everybody else, too. They've been busting ass, killing it, man. These guys don't even know how much this, how cool this is. Well, I'm sure out there. Sure, they think it's cool, but it's really cool that they all came down to help and get this thing going. It's really, really cool of them. So, uh, yeah. That's about it. Gentlemen, ladies, aliens, whatever. I don't know. You guys still watching these things? I guess so. I guess we'll talk about it. Uh, this is a long day today. Uh, I feel like we got a lot of work done. I don't think we're where we want to be. Uh, motor and trans are in, but the motor hasn't started yet. Um, I feel like maybe they're a little ways away from that happening. I don't know. Uh, I know we need some parts for the transmission, so uh, that's definitely going to hold it up. Uh, but hopefully tomorrow they can get wiring on the engine. Um, and then I think that's a big hold up there. Um, uh, so we'll see how that goes with it. Uh, 815 guys, man, they got that interior back together and it looks awesome. Got that 10 inch dash, uh, that 10 inch radio mounted in the dash. Man, that looks really good. Uh, carpets look good. Um, uh, Cletus may paint them. I think that's going to help with it. It's got a little pink hue. They're pretty dirty, but they, they look pretty good with it. I know they're clean. They just got stains on them and stuff. So, um, but that interior is looking good. Um, I don't know. Maybe they'll put the seats back in. I'm not sure. Um, fuel cell. Got to work with Mongrels a lot today. That was pretty cool uh, working with him. Um, uh, working on the uh, fuel cell box frame. Uh, I was doing some, some CAD design on the... Uh, uh, on the frame uh, so they can make templates cut the sheet metal out um, so that was pretty cool um, definitely enjoyed that so um, yeah that was fun uh, they had a lot of fun putting the uh, engine and trans in the one time uh, had a little bit of trouble with those transmission lines hammer and all that good stuff so that was that was fun I just recorded and kept on watching so um, you know had uh, Firehouse subs. Wasted got us firehouse subs today, so that was cool. And uh, leftovers for dinner, so that was, uh, yeah, leftover pulled pork with uh, uh, stuff with Cletus cheese dip and tacos stuff with it, so that was really good, too. We're definitely eating good. There's there's no question about that. Lots of donuts and stuff, too. So, um, you know, hopefully you can get that engine uh, fired up. That'll be a, be a huge step, I think, with it. Um, but yeah, I was, it was happy to be able to work, actually physically work a little bit more today. So it was a good day, a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so glad you guys are still watching these, I guess. Well, somebody's probably watching it. So yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Oh, and it's still just amazing working with everybody. I mean, it, it's, you know, it, it, I mentioned to somebody earlier, um, you know, you see everybody on these lives and now you're together and it's it's just like you're having a huge live all day long where you're actually doing some work. So it's still a lot of fun. You know, yeah, there's challenges and that kind of stuff with it, but I mean, that's what makes it fun. So, uh, so yeah, it's just been great working with everybody. It's really cool meeting and seeing everybody. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys. I don't know, whenever we do this next one, I guess it'll be tomorrow night because that's when we do them. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you next one.